Hey, it's Krez. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert cubic feet per minute into air exchanges per hour. So I broke out the red door of truth yesterday and got a reading of air leakage on my home at 50 pascals. I'll show you the formula. Formula is more or less uh, this. We take CFM times 60, and that's to convert minutes to hours. And then we divide by the air volume of our home. Air volume. So cubic feet per minute of air leakage is the number that your blower door is going to give you. Uh, which in our case, let's see what number here we want to use. We have 4,965 cubic feet per minute times 60 over the volume of air in our house. This is where, depending on the shape of your house, uh, things might get a little tricky to figure out. You basically want to figure out what is the in what is the boundary between inside your house and outside your house, and then you take that volume uh, of air and c calculate what that volume is. So for us, it's very simple. This might be complicated, more complicated for you, depending on the geometry of your house, right? If you got like a vaulted ceiling with triangles, basically the process is you take your house, you break it down into a bunch of simple shapes if you have to, and then add all of those shapes together. So our formula for finding volume then, air volume, is going to be, you know, you could think of it as square footage of the house times ceiling height. That will give us the volume. Uh, or the other way to think about it, you know, you can break square footage down into length times width times height. And for us, our house is almost a perfect square. So we got 39 feet by 39 feet by 17 feet tall. Now the place that I get uh, the 17 feet from is I've got uh, a basement floor that is eight feet. And then I've got, uh, you know, the in between or the floor itself is one foot. So I got some two by 12 joists there. And then the second floor uh, is eight feet, flat ceiling, no vaulted ceiling, no weird geometry, no dormers, no anything like that that I got to calculate. Um, so, you know, add these numbers together, we get our 17 feet. So when we take 39 times 39 times 17, we end up with 25,857 cubic feet. So we're gonna take that 25,857. Now to take this one step further, let's take our 4965 times 60 and we will end up with 297,900. That's a lot. Divide by our 25, eight, five, seven. And we get 11.52 air changes per hour, which we say a, which is abbreviated AHC, air changes per hour at 50 pascals, right? The pressure matters. 50 is kind of a, a standard. You could run this test at, you know, 25 pascals and then double it to get your HC 50 number. So there we have it. That is how many air changes per hour my house is enduring right now, which does in fact confirm my suspicion that my house is leakier than a porcupine's waterbed. So there you have it. That is how you calculate AHC, air changes per hour from cubic feet per minute. And with that, I suppose if Wallace Wills would have been a home performance blower door owning building science nerd, he wouldn't have written his famous hymn about swinging low, sweet chariot. It would have been something like swing low, sweet blower door, swing low. I looked over my banana meter and what did I see? A band of air exchanges coming after me. I'll stop there because you do not want to hear the rest of my weird building science hymn. But yeah, good luck. And may uh, the air exchanges in your house forever be in your favor and that they go down and, you know, until you have to ventilate or something. Do, 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 do. Manama meter.